Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Army Man games for the Nintendo GameCube. Army Man Air Combat The Elite Missions is the sequel to the first Air Combat game released on the N64. You do what you see in the video, and it's a pretty cozy game. Sure it has some frustrating moments sometimes, but overall I found it to be cozy. You pilot 5 different helicopters, each with different weapons, payloads and handling. The game has 20 missions, split into 10 distinct environments, like for example Japanese gardens, Halloween nights, wild west, flower beds. The weapons are nice. Weapons range from bottle rockets to cherry bombs, all very fitting to some green toy soldiers. You can also pick up objects with each helicopter's tow line to swing them at enemies or to reel in power-ups. Also it's interesting that no matter that the GameCube is a much more powerful console than the N64, the frame rate still drops and it gets to be a slideshow sometimes. And this slideshow nature of the frame rate when there are too many enemies is still present even on, even on the more powerful GameCube console, which is strange as the N64 had the problem too and here on the much more powerful console, it is still present. Also the controls feel wonky, but overall it's an average game. Army Man Sarge's War is another average game. It's a third person shooter. You play as Sarge and he goes commando in all of the missions. The missions are the usual, like mow down any enemy that crosses your path, and or plant a bomb or man a turret, but they are kind of poorly executed. They lack something special to keep you hooked. In rest, the controls are bad, you can get used to them, but I still don't understand why they didn't leave the option to control Sarge with the usual stereotypical but foolproof control scheme. They changed the control scheme and it feels odd. Army Man RTS is a real-time strategy game, as you can see from the video. The game consists of 15 missions. The gameplay has imagination. You start off with a handful of troops and, depending on the circumstances, a bulldozer. The bulldozer can be used to build stuff like barracks and garages that can then be used to build more troops and vehicles. To create an effective army, you'll need to build a resource depot to gather plastic and electricity, the core building blocks of all your units. Plastic can be harvested from items such as frisbees or toy robots, while electricity can be harvested from items such as batteries or toasters. Resource management definitely plays a big part of the mission success. The game feels a little dated, just like the other ones, but it still manages to be a decent experience an average game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!